Hey everyone, Levi here with Trident Fly Fishing and today we're gonna to be tying an atomic worm. Super effective blood worm pattern, super easy to tie. Fish it anywhere there's blood worms in the system and it'll catch fish. Real good pattern to hang off of a larger nymph, something like a stone fly or maybe a large mayfly nymph. Really easy, you can probably tie it in under 90 seconds. Let's get started with a Kona universal caddis or clink size 10 hook but you can certainly tie this smaller or larger and we're going to lay a thread base down we're using a dot red unithread here you need red thread for this but it's a very simple fly let's bring our thread about 25 percent 20 percent or so into that bend and then we'll bring our thread just behind the eye you want to leave yourself enough room to add a head but you don't need a lot. So for the body, we're using the vinyl rib. This is the nymph size. So as you can see with this stuff, it is sort of shaped like a D with the arc being up here. That's the trickiest part about this fly because we need to tie that with this facing away from us. So whenever we go to wrap it, it's gonna look the correct way as it should. So that's really the trickiest part here. Let's go ahead and tie that in now. All right, so again, get the arc away from you and let's just wind this in with enough room, leave yourself enough room to create a little head there. And we're just gonna work this right on back. I like to tie it facing me, but that's certainly not necessary. Bring it all the way back to our thread and then bring your thread right onto the eye. Now we're gonna come in here and create that nice segmentation. Get these wraps really close to one another and you'll see how it just looks real nice. Super easy to do. And despite this fly only being about three materials, all of those can be found at tridentflyfishing.com as well as a whole bunch of other things. And orders over 49 bucks do ship for free. So capitalize on that if you need to stock the blood worm box. All right, so we need some space for the head. We're gonna bring it just to there and then go ahead and tie it off. This stuff has some sort of memory and spring to it. So don't get in there and cut it until you've really assured that it's tightly in there. Now hold my thread out of the way with my index finger and snip that off. Go ahead and clean that head up a little bit with just a few wraps before we hit it with a whip finish. That is an atomic worm. I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.